Okay. Let's check out that confirmed trend here. Now this is microvision. Okay. Now we're just playing around with our TTM Squeeze Pro indicator. And one thing that I have noticed is that there's the Oh, we're trying to trying to draw Fibonacci's here. Let's let's remove our drawings. And we'll get back over to our line drawing tool. Now I've noticed the red dot in the middle of the black dots, okay? <clears throat> so the one red dot, okay, if you can find the one red dot squeeze, that's usually a good sign of a move I'm, I'm noticing. But, anyhow, you know, this particular squeeze indicator tells you when you're entering the squeeze and when you're exiting the squeeze. Okay, so when you're entering the squeeze, and then it exits the squeeze and goes down, okay? It goes into another squeeze, keeps going, you know, uh, and so on. So, you can see if it goes up, it's entering the squeeze, and here it is coming out of the squeeze. All right, and the longer those squeezes happen, the bigger the explosion is, and this is what happened with the microvision. High Leon is also on this list. KNDI, MVIS, NBEV, Ride is also on the list. Blink is on the list for the Squeeze Pro Daily, okay? And we're using a zigzag sign And we have it, you know, as for show label. Okay. So we're showing our label up here, confirming our trend. So we have confirmed uptrend, confirmed downtrend, and unconfirmed trend. Here are the, you know, some squeezes. Here's one green dot squeeze. Okay. We can see here was a, a red dot squeeze, and then price eventually exploded up. And here's a squeeze, and then price exploded up. Okay. This is a very interesting way to look at the chart. CVE. Okay, we can see our low here, and I would like to watch this particular, you know, um, during the day. Just to see how it charts out, but overall, even if we wanted to get rid of that, Now, we can see that our squeezes, we can see when, you know, a good buying opportunity is about to happen, and then when we're about to exit a squeeze, if we've just gotten an up signal. So, if we exit a squeeze after an up signal, that's a good sign, um, with improving market health. Up signal squeeze, not really what we want to see, then down signal, okay? So we're going into another squeeze here. Let's check out Blink. Alright, see this is a, a squeeze here. Here was a squeeze. And it seems like there's a squeeze and then with it, it kind of seems like this uh, shows a little bit of a divergence, but it's it's not really. Then we see this up signal right after a squeeze, and it turns green. You know, it green lights. We get an up signal. We see market health improving. We see another squeeze. 
but still no down signal, so that means we're still staying in. Our HA Colt fires a green, you know, buy signal. Yeah, that, that, yeah, this is a good signal for us. Okay, so we get a signal here, a signal here, the signal of the squeeze happening, the confirmation of the HA Colt buy, the awesome oscillator showing buying power. Okay, and we're exploding up. All right, excellent. So we would have reached the top and, you know, sold or shorted. So, you know, we need to follow a particular rhythm. Okay, here's another squeeze, and we should be looking for it to pop. So, let's see what DS is, Drive Shack. Okay, now let's go back and look at some of the other ones that are on our squeeze, but are the opposite. Uh, okay, look, AMC is on that. So that's going to be the squeeze is is down is equal uh, to zero, I believe. And that's a big full list. Um, OPKO health. So it looks like now, you know, this was a squeeze. Squeeze. All right, so we get this big squeeze here, and then when we exit the squeeze, pow. I mean, look at that, price broke out. Okay, we go into this squeeze here, but we can see it's downwards play, so we wouldn't, you know, unless we're shorting, we don't want to get in. Um, but then we see the market recover, we see that red dot, and then we see price break out to the upside. So once we learn how to read this squeeze indicator properly, and I mean, we can get rid of this, uh, you know, this HA Colt indicator that I have with the awesome oscillator I I kind of want to build something with the squeeze into it so but overall you know using this TTM setup you know this is a ideal TTM setup um, the only other thing we could do to make it better is I would say let's see TTM we can throw on the TTM trend, let's throw, I don't know what the LRC is, but let's throw it on there. Alright, so I don't know what these lines are, but that's the LRC. So, whatever that is, it does show points of resistance and support, but, um, wow, check it out, it's, it's showing an up channel. Let's see what the other stocks look like up channel up channel of course many of the ones that show on this down channel there we go all right so the TTM LRC that one DuPont's on a down channel baby okay so we want stocks that are on an up channel interesting maybe I should check my own positions eek marma dirkle Rut row. I knew that was going to happen because of um, dividends. So that I totally get. Rut row, Raggy. <clears throat> Rut row. Okay. I sold Sens today. And I shouldn't have done it. Wah! Okay, so we're going into a squeeze looking for a pullback. Let's get a pullback to this line. So say around the 250-ish something somethings, and we could see a tread on up. So not not the worst thing. We're going into a squeeze right now, kind of coming out of the high side of a squeeze. So not the worst thing. Okay, let's go up here and grab AMC and throw it in here and see what it looks like. Oh yes, baby, a high high track. Look at it go. Look at the projections go. Okay. <clears throat> Tesla. Oh, wow. And see how I had it charted? See how I, I had it charted, and look how these lines just kind of popped up there. And see, this LRC maybe wasn't there, or I didn't notice it before, but this is certainly interesting. So 
with this LRC, we will be able to see our current um, trend direction and state. Um, very interesting. So, let's see. Etsy. And, let's see, Mark. Wow. <laughs> look at look at what Remark's about to do. I have a friend who might like to see that. Michaels is about to be on a nice you know downtrend. What's Nicola look like? Come on, man. Are you serious? I don't know why they keep trading that. Although I guess it doesn't matter. Plug, there's an uptrend. There's about to be a good plug for you. So let's bring it down to about the 66, you know, $67 level and we'll buy in. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Casaba Sciences. This is a nice, nice channel going right on up. Did hit a high in the channel, so it's probably going to pull back some, but okay. Here's one of those red dot, uh, you know, things that I was talking about, and it blew out, you know, in price. Here's another one. You know, price did go up. So looking, you know, entering a squeeze, exiting a squeeze, and then when you see a quick spike squeeze like that. I've noticed those mean something's about to happen. Here was a spike squeeze and price blew out. Okay. So this is a this is a pretty unique or not a unique but typical um, TTM setup. Uh, except for this pro indicator at the bottom. Yeah, you know, this was loaded off of uh, use think script. You know, shout out to you know those dudes. Definitely go to that website and check that stuff out. You know, see, here was another one of those red dot uh, specials, and then price blew out in the discovery communication. So here was a red dot special, and then price blew out. So, um, you know, I don't know if they call these a short squeeze or not. I don't know. Um, people all over the tubes was like, ah, oh, short squeeze, GameStop, blah, blah, blah. What? The what squeeze now? So I had to figure this out. I'm like, I mean, I get it, but... You know, what was it? So now we have to find this. This was the squeeze we're talking about. This was the squeeze that caused the explosion in price. Okay? So, you know, I saw a couple other videos dedicated to and about the squeeze and some other particular things about them. But, um, anyway, you know, this was maybe the short squeeze that everyone was... Is it over? Is it over? You know, well, yeah, it's over. So... We'll be waiting for another squeeze. Um, there's your red dot special. <laughs> but uh, here was probably another one. Yeah. No, we didn't get a red dot there. But price still did blow out. So that is a pretty interesting setup there. Let's see what else is there for the TTM. Of course, we've got in the TTM wave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll have to take this LRC off. This TTM wave certainly looks interesting for, you know, market health and buying power and whatnot. Pitney Bowes. What's a Pitney Bowes? Although, here we go. Yeah, certainly. Interesting action. Alright, so what else might we want to know? 
you know, other than this particular stuff. So it looks like we can see our TTM wave pretty well. And it <clears throat> and it does follow. Yeah, your TTM wave does follow your TTM, say, squeeze here pretty well. Uh, maybe it's even better at seeing the strength of a trend. I mean, we can try and judge that here. Uh, let's see. I mean, it sees, you know, and shows the, the strength of a trend, and it looks like, uh, it seems like, you know, we see the selling, yeah, you know, power down in here, too. So, you know, over pro outperforming the market, you know, decreasing but still uh, you know, performing, and then underperforming, and then underperforming but improving. Okay. And we see that's happening right here, you know, and here's the squeeze. So, let's see if this TTM wave is showing us where the squeezes are. Maybe. Maybe, kind of. Okay. I'm going to find something that had a huge drop off in price. And see how Apple broke out after it broke out after this support. And it went all kinds of upwards. So. And see this one red dot here? There was your one red dot signal that told you you should probably be buying in soon. Here was another one red dot, but I don't like how many other dots were on the outside of it. I like to see it as just the, you know, one or two, you know, black dots on each side. And then, you know, just like a spike, not, not, not this big flat bar, but you know, this squeeze, here we go. A spike like this, but, you know, containing a few dots. You know, something like this. But I've noticed the ones that have the red dot in them, big moves tend to come after. Um, I don't know what that red dot means, but it works. Hmm. Okay. So our TTM wave isn't as useful as it could be. At least not right now. Okay. But with this scan here, we know where the squeezes are. So now let's take that and let's find something with our VWAP. Okay, now this will give us the awesome oscillator with the VWAP signals, at least the buying signals. Okay, so back out to the daily. We get a buying signal here, a signal here, and a signal here. Okay, now what if we can get this squeeze on top of it? Okay. So now we'll have buying power. We'll have selling power. And we'll have, you know, selling power. And then we'll have buying power. We'll have our VWAP signal. Okay. And we'll know when our squeezes are. Very useful. All right. So if you stuck with me this long, thank you. It was well worth it, I hope.
declaration defining subparagraph can be used. Okay. Okay, that fixed it. Now we can see the VWAP and the squeeze. The squeeze, the squeeze. The VWAP, the buying power, and the squeeze. All in one indicator. Okay, so I like it. This is interesting. I think I should work on this. sure. So now let's take away the old TTM, you know, our Squeeze Pro, and now this is our one that shows our selling and buying power with all of our VWAP buys and your squeezes. How cool is that? When it blows out of the squeeze, we know some good action is coming. And the longer the squeeze, the better it is. So, that seems to be the motto of the squeeze. Which is why it's not okay um, to squeeze on the squeeze. Some people know what I'm talking about. Yes, but check out this long squeeze here. Yeah. Alright. A little squeeze right here. But then here's a squeeze with a VWAP, which is ideal and kind of what you want to see. So a squeeze on a VWAP is an excellent signal. And look at that run from here to here you would not have regretted taking that signal. Um, and that's what we're trying to eliminate here. We're trying to eliminate the false signals. So had we taken, you know, this next signal here where it turned green and then hit VWAP, you know, and notice this up arrow right here, had it taken it on this doji or this doji, we would have made a massive move up and we would have been extremely happy with our account. So. Yeah, that is the idea here. So that 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 really is. And, you know, so let's all help each other. You know, hit that like button. You know, I hope I helped you out. Hope you know we all learned something. And um, I'm gonna copy this indicator and I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my GitHub page. That way you guys can go out onto the interwebs and grab it um, for your for your own use. So, you know, definitely subscribe and all that fun stuff. So here we go. We'll copy. And let's go out onto our interwebs and place this into our public file. Now, I've added quite a few things to this file, and I think we're going to go with lower studies is where we're keeping these now. So, this is a file that I've also, you know, forked and added to. I believe it only had, like, two files in it to begin with, but maybe not. I could have, uh... back here and let's add a file just because this is so many different things okay so now this is the awesome VWAP
E E Z E. Awesome V Wop squeeze. Awesome squeeze V Wop. All right. Olay. Commit that file. Now you can come right over here to GitHub, and you can grab that. And uh, there we go. Let me go over here. Repositories. to my private files. Okay. Mbatu. Fun stuff though. So come over here and you know grab that indicator. You'll find it here. But what fun, let's all make some money. Can't wait for tomorrow. Get that dividend payment on Intel. Yeah, I like those dividend payments. They add up. So, yeah, make some money and I'll catch you on the next video.